experience that Lincoln City has never had. This piece is about 100 pounds. So this is basically just fish food. Like, Uh, Prehistoric is a store that uh, is a culmination of 30 years of collecting and it's educational. It is uh, the top 2 to 3 percent of the finest, rarest, and most unusual uh, items that you'll find in the fossil mineral and meteorite world. Uh, I specialize mostly in fossils, um, but have many degrees in uh, gemology and I uh, have a, a passion for meteorites as well, so you'll, you'll see all of those in the gallery. This is Edmontosaurus, which was uh, a fairly large dinosaur. Uh, this femur um, is one of the best you're ever gonna see. The definition of it, it's all original, and it has a process right here that you very rarely ever see in, in uh, a dinosaur femur. These dinosaurs were so big that the tendons were so long that they would get tangled. So this process would actually keep those tendons from crisscrossing each other. And that's what kept them uh, in line. Um, and the photos here show it in the ground. They're starting to prepare it and wrap it up. And then they put a casting in there to, to protect it as they pull it out of the ground. Uh, we're very big into educating. Uh, I do a lot of talks for schools all over the country. Uh, we like to be hands on. We like people to be able to enjoy, touch and feel and be a part of, of what this world once was. And uh, the museums don't allow you to do that. We do. You know, our, our slogan basically is, um, where everything old is new again. This is Camarasaurus. This was uh, a dinosaur that uh, basically was about 50 foot long. The tail itself uh, is 15 feet long. And uh, this is uh, the only one that we know of that is 100% complete. Vertebrae number one of the tail, all the way to the very end. And the very end actually has a little bit of, uh, there's two little pieces that are missing off of it. And it's not that we didn't find them, they were a bit off. Because the bone has actually healed itself. stop since we started putting this in and uh, we're almost there we need a couple more weeks but you know when it's up and around people are gonna come in here and they're gonna see it as a store they're gonna see it as a gallery they're gonna see it as a museum uh, most people don't know how to, to name it this particular horns about 32 inches long and uh, what's really rare about it is 90% of all triceratops horns don't have a tip the tip is broke off it's missing, so they recreate it. Uh, you can actually almost see the bone marrow in this particular one. So it's um, it's about 99% complete, original Triceratops brow horn. Yeah.